Dear civil engineers, in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll draw our structural column to our structure as per our AutoCAD floor plan. So that was our AutoCAD floor plan, and you know that we have used that grid system here. I mean in Revit, okay, same to same. So in here, uh, that is column one, column one, column one, and column one. So first of all, I will draw our column one in that four corner okay and one thing you have to remember that there there are some eccentric issue with that column so in x direction uh sorry in y direction that will be in center point so if i just come here it will be okay so if i just show you something this is our grid line okay this is our grid line so what will be the difference from our grid line that will be almost one inch so see here one inch in downside okay one inch offset in downside clear here one inch and for uh, that x direction i mean so for for y direction that is okay but for x direction grid uh, we have one inch offset so for that on like that and for that on same in upside and the same for that on and also for that on okay so i'm just going here first of all you have to come here a structure um and your column should be defined so in our previous lecture i have to show already shown you that how we'll define that clear so i'll just click here column okay i'll click here column and before that at, in which level you want to draw your column so i have to draw my column in a structural plan and in footing level okay so in footing level so here the footing level and from here must you have to select in height you want to draw your column or in depth i mean suppose you are in ground floor now if you select depth then it will draw below ground level and uh, now i am as i am in footing level so if i select height then it will draw above ground uh, footing level okay now until which height will draw our column suppose if uh, i'll just draw column till ground floor okay but if you want that uh, i'll draw column in a certain height then you can select it like that and here you have to define your height so if uh, i mean already if you are following my channel and in our previous lecture i have just shown you that how will work with architectural plan then i have just discussed everything so here i will select till ground floor if you select first floor the column will draw from i mean base to i mean uh, footing level to first floor so i'll select ground floor okay and i think it's okay and here room boundary okay it's okay so i'll just simply come here and i'll click on that point and if you need any movement if you need any movement clear if you need any movement then you can use that option just see just see here the zero zero point and in the in that direction if you just go in that direction it will give you just see with respect to that point you will see the distance okay that's why what i'll do and if you want to draw outside then you will see value like that so from that point to in uh, bottom direction i want to draw so here i'll just simply draw here just see i got some eccentric issue now i will click here and from here i will just give one inch then enter just see how perfectly i have just drawn that right then you see i've just drawn that clear 
now there are two way just you can come here modify and you can copy that column to here then simply click that on after that click here copy okay now suppose with respect to that point we want to move then click here and zoom out and just come here and in that intersection just click you see how easily we have just moved that right how easily we have moved that the same way i'll just draw column here okay so for that i'll just again go a structure then column i think every data is okay and here our column size is c on at 12 into 12 now i'll just come i'll just click here So with respect to first of all, you have to take mouse on that line so that we can uh, get a line here perfectly. Then simply draw here and click here and give it one inch. Then enter. So it's done. Then escape double enter to uh, I mean double click to uh, in escape button, escape button. Then select that one and after that again click here copy and with respect to that center point. We'll just move that zoom out, then zoom in and draw in that center point. Just see, it's done. This is Sion. We have perfectly drawn our Sion. Now we'll draw uh, C2. Okay, so for C2, I'll just show you. Uh, for C2, maybe we have no issue because. Uh, our center point of column our center of that grid i mean intersection of grid okay so i'll simply but we have to rotate that after maybe after drone so i'll just come here and from here i'll just select from a structure then you have to select column and from here i'll select c2 okay and here i'll just click that intersection and it's done actually uh, it's it's a drone in that direction but suppose this is not in that direction i mean in that direction in which direction you need then simply select then click and rotate and with respect to that point then rotate like that just see how easily it's a rotate then i'll just go ctrl z to go back again then i can select that and I can click copy then with respect to that okay uh, it's, I'm facing some problem to find out okay with respect to that center point I'll just go here and I'll draw it here you see how easy we have created our column here and here now I'll just go a little bit fast so for that column we need four inch offset we need, we need four inch offset from our grid line in up direction so same for that four column and here also same in bottom direction so first of all we'll draw c4 for that i'll just come here and i'll just come a structure then column and from here i'll just select c4 first then from here uh, with respect to that line i'll just go in there first of all come here okay uh, okay i'll draw here one column then here one column then here and after that again I'll just come here 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 and here right after that I'll escape double click double escape and double click double on escape then I'll click here or 
a little bit move it by pressing I mean uh, by selecting a little bit move like that after that I will just change that value okay so here how much it will move from our that center that will be 4 inch then enter let's see again skip then select that on skip then select that on okay so same way we can move it little bit in that direction and after that select that on and right here for inch like that otherwise we can copy them as I have done previous so select that on otherwise uh, you can click here and then we can reduce that value 4 inch so here um, 11 so 11 minus 4 that means 7 how easy and again so here 11 I will reduce to 7 just see how easily I have done that and again for that side I will just skip I will zoom it okay it's I will just double click here skip so uh, if you double click here it will only select that okay after that if you want to go back So here, uh, simply click here to see that object. After that, you can click here, switch windows. Then simply click here. In which windows you want to go? Then I just want to go in footing level. Simply click here, and we are here. Okay. So after that, again I will just click here and I'll move that same way and by clicking here I'll just give 4 okay and same way click here and move it little bit and we can merge it with that on so it's done again we can move it with respect to that one like that and also we can move it with respect to that one maybe it's not okay so I'll just move it little bit here so I hope now it's okay right see how easily we have just created our column and now we have to draw our middle four columns so that is column C column C3 so here uh, for that one in X direction we have 1 inch and uh, in Y direction we have 4 inch okay so I'll just come here I'll select a structure then column from here I will select column C3 after that I will just with respect to I will just click here 
and similarly I will just click here then here and here okay so after that we will just move it how much we required so here if we see we have to move that in y direction down 4 inch and in that direction 1 inch maybe yeah 4 inch and 1 inch so here I will just little bit move it in that direction like that and after that I will do it perfectly so in that direction it will be 1 inch right and sorry I will just again click here and it will be 1 inch it will be 1 inch and sorry control Z I'll again click here and I'll just click here and it will be it will go down 4 inch just see it's done after that again for that one I'll just come here now I'll move it like that and in that direction it will be 1 inch and in bottom direction it will be 4 inch right and now we have to rotate that two columns first of all I'll rotate by clicking here I'll just click here rotate and that with respect to from that direction to 90 degree that direction and same way I'll just select and I'll rotate that one also with respect to that direction to that direction how easily we have rotated that and now I'll just move it how much we required so in x direction opposite x direction we need to move it for it for that one I'll select that one so when I've selected now what you can do that I can add air 4 inch so I can uh, 8 plus 4 into 12 then it, it just picks up this move now I can click here one thing remember if you click that side then it will take data with respect to that one and if you click that side then you can actually by clicking here you can move that like that as per record actually so what will be in that direction uh, I mean it will go in that direction so what will do I'll just give you 12 just see it's done so perfectly we have created our column layout okay we have created our column layout right just see how perfectly we have created our column layout right so in our next lecture i'll show that how we'll draw our beam perfectly as per our requirement so thank you thank you very much for staying with me and i hope you have learned something and hope you will subscribe to my channel and also support me thank you thank you very much